Hey third graders, today we're going to do a math problem with my dog Scoop and Christmas. Read carefully for important information. Scoop cuts nine pieces of wrapping paper. Each piece of wrapping paper is seven centimeters long. What is the total length of the pieces of wrapping paper that Scoop cuts? So let's see what Scoop thinks. She thinks that I should probably draw a tape diagram and it really sounds like multiplication or repeated addition because each time she cuts a piece of wrapping paper it's a certain length. So right now ask your teacher to press pause and please solve this problem. Okay so I'm gonna follow the RDW problem solving process so I've read the question I've got an idea of what to do I'm gonna draw a picture and my drawing is gonna be a tape diagram and it sounds like, because I'm going to cut it into nine pieces, I want to cut my diagram into nine pieces. The weird thing about drawing a multiplication and division tape diagram is that I don't want to draw nine lines. I actually always want to draw one fewer. So I want to draw actually eight lines. And it looks like I need to keep adding on to mine. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of wrapping paper. It's not always pretty. Each one of these wrapping papers are worth seven. So that looks like one big long addition sentence to me. So I could skip count if I need it. Seven and seven make 14. 14 and seven make 21. 21 and seven make 28. If you like football, this is an easy problem because these are all touchdown scores. Uh, 35 plus seven makes 42. 49, I add another 7, 56, and my final 7 gets me to 63. So when I add 7 9 times, I get to 63. The quicker way to do this would be to just write a multiplication sentence. 9 times 7 equals my product. So I struggle with my facts when they get bigger like that, so I'm going to break this down into an easier math problem for me. I'm going to actually break 9 down into 5 and 4. I know I'm really good at my 5 facts, so I'm going to think 7 times 5. I know that one's 35, because I'm good with my 5 facts. And 7 times 4 is a little bit easier, too, and I'm pretty good at that one. That's 28. The way, again, you could do repeated addition there. And now I want to add these two numbers together. 5 and 8 make 13. So then I have 13 plus 20 plus 30 gets me to 63 again. So my product would be 63. Another way of looking at your tape diagram would be to divide it right at that 5 there so I can look at my math facts. Um, so I've read the question, I've drawn a picture, I've written a number sentence. The one thing I haven't done is written an answer statement, 63 what? So i got to go back and look at the question. It's about total length of the pieces. So my length was measured in centimeters, so that's going to be my answer. And I'm a lazy mathematician, so I know the abbreviation for centimeters is CM. You could write the whole word if you need to copy it down. Um, let's see what Scoop thinks. So actually today we're going to talk about a Christmas tradition. Germans started decorating Christmas trees with simple white candles in the 8th century. Now to me it doesn't sound too smart putting fire on a tree, so that's probably why we have ornaments the way we do now. Have a good day, third graders.